They've been promising it for a while, but Minecraft 1.11.2 is no longer the most recent version of Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft 1.12 is now with us, and it's not just a snapshot. It is the rainbow update. It is all about the colours. It has got some amazing new blocks, some amazing new features, and I'm just going to take a very, very short look at some of the stuff that we've got to look at for. Just look at those colours. It's amazing. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermans. Hello, Mr. Chicken. I am not doing a build today. I am not doing a Let's Play today. What am I doing today? You know what? It's Minecraft 1.12 has very, very recently come out, and I thought I'd do a very brief video just to take a look at it to see what some of the differences might be. And there seem to be quite a few, and they're not anything to do with that chicken. It's, it's really colourful. First thing looking at it, I mean, I've not even laid a single block and there's a lot more colour just lurking around me. But we're going to look at the palettes rather than anything else. We're just going to look at the palettes and some of the new blocks and some of the ways in which you are going to be using Minecraft moving forward. So let's get on with it right now. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is inventory because inventory has had a little bit of a change. And you can see it, I've got a toolbar here that is full up with redstone type stuff. So let's open up our inventory. Here we can see saved toolbars and you can save these toolbars on to the like save toolbar system. Now if you're on a PC, it is control plus one, two, three, four, or five. And if you're on a Mac, it is like the curly command key plus one, two, three, four, and five, which is gonna be brilliant because it means you can just switch between these toolbars really, really simply. Um, if you're, I don't know, maybe you're doing a rustic build and then you're doing a, a redstone build. So this is gonna be really handy for me. I'm looking forward to be able to use it. What a brilliant, brilliant idea. But I'm not worried about that at the moment, so let's get rid of those. I want to know what's going on with these different blocks. Now, a lot of these blocks look exactly the same, but look at this wall. Look at this wall. Oh, my goodness. Let's get some wall going down here. We've got all kinds of wall that is really, really bright. This is brilliant. Look, let's get some of these wall blocks down. So that's really red. So the black is properly, properly black. We've got... Look at these, these colours are amazing. They're really, really good now. I know a lot of you have been looking at the snapshots, and that's fair enough, but it is now released. It is a real thing. Look at the colours of these walls. It is so much better to be able to build with some of those colours. Um, obviously, not when there is lightning, because that would not work at all. So what other blocks have we got lurking around here? Should we have a bit of a scroll down? So we've got these terracotta. Terracotta. Now, that is basically baked clay. Um, but they've called it terracotta because there is going to be a thing called glazed terracotta, which is really patterned. But let's look at some of this terracotta stuff. There's concrete. Oh my god, it's concrete! Where'd the concrete come from? Blue concrete. Orange concrete powder. Like, what's all this malarkey? Well, I'll tell you what this malarkey is. This concrete powder is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to get this concrete powder here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. It is going to work just like sand. So if I get rid of that, look, it falls under gravity. So one, two falls under gravity but what happens when we mix it up with a little bit of water so they've moved the water i've got to find it where'd they move the water to where'd they move the water to look i'm previewing stuff here so let's look for water i don't even know they've moved the water around there we go we get some water if you then get this water and pop it on there do you see what happened did you did you see what happened it's all about turning it into actual concrete how clever is that? So you can change um, concrete powder into concrete. Let's get rid of that. And now look, it is not concrete powder anymore. It is concrete and it's pink concrete. So you can make some brilliant, brilliant uh, buildings. Can you imagine some of the buildings you can make with this concrete? I can see some modern houses coming out uh, here that are just going to look absolutely superb. Look at the colours. They're brilliant. I'm loving this already. Absolutely superb. So that's the concrete. But I was talking about terracotta. Where's the terracotta gone? There's the terracotta. Let's get rid of this stuff here because I'm getting excited about terracotta. Here we go. Magenta terracotta. Light blue. Look, it's, it's basically like clay, isn't it? But they have made it really, really nice. It's not as bright, perhaps, as the concrete. Um, it's not as um, vibrant, perhaps, as the concrete. But it is 
yet another way for us to be able to use uh, clay. And look at the texture of it. The texture is ever so slightly different. Concrete is just solid. It's just colour. It's going to be brilliant. And then we've got this terracotta has got a very slight dappled effect. But then we get terracotta when you um, like bake it or whatever it is you've got to do. I've not worked out what you do with it yet. So I'm going to just... Look, you've got all of these different terracottas here as well. So orange glazed terracotta, lime glazed terracotta, cyan glazed terracotta. So let's get out of that and see what we can do with some of these. Because these are brilliant. Look, these form, they actually go in different orientations. So depending on which way around you put them, you can make circles. Or you can make, like, well, let's get rid of that one a second. Or you can make patterns. Look, you see like that? That's brilliant. And then we've got... That pattern is like that, so we can go like that, and you can make all kinds of interesting patterns. If I come around here like that, look, that's made a nice pattern there, isn't it? And then we've got this one here. Let's get rid of that. No, I don't want to go in there. We want to go one, two. Oh, it's got a little creeper face on it. That's brilliant. See, so you can do all kinds of really interesting things with this glazed terracotta. I'm very impressed with some of these new blocks. Right, I've worked it out. We've now got a miscellaneous tab. It's a miscellaneous tab, and look, we've got all the dies, and we've got the buckets and flints, and the other little bits and pieces that would normally be mixed in with some of these ones, we've now got in its own miscellaneous tab, which is brilliant. But one thing I did want to show you here is magma block. Now, a magma block, normally, you can set fire to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't burn forever. Now, you set fire to a magma block, boom, that thing's burning forever, just like Neverack, which is brilliant because it's a much nicer colour than uh, never act in my personal opinion um, and I think it looks it looks like you could use that really really well really interestingly perhaps in some bills let's see what happens if I put a wooden trap door and it's probably going to burn in it but if I put that like that you could make some quite interesting builds here there you go so that looks quite nice doesn't it I quite like the way that's looking it looks better the netherrack would if it was on fire what a nice way to do it so let's get rid of that because i don't want everything to burn away and what else have we got let's look at some of these flowers because the flowers look really very bright oh look new recipes are unlocked again you've got lots and lots of prompts on the top right hand side here telling you exactly what is going on so look these these are so much more vibrant these colors here let's get um dandelions they look redder we've got Alliums, they look just a little bit more purple. The colours are brilliant. We're going to be doing some really, really fun building with some of this stuff. It is going to be great. Now, it just said about recipes. So, what's he talking about recipes as a PC player? We don't know anything about recipes. That's all for those console gamers and maybe MCP. I don't know. Do you have recipes in MCP? I don't know. But you definitely don't have them in the PC. But, look, crafting table. Boom. I've opened it up. We've got some recipes. What's going on? I've clicked on this book here and it's come out with a load of recipes. And something very exciting happens look we've got a yellow bed there what's he talking about a yellow bed so i can actually make beds that are yellow yellow wool with oak wood planks now if i use different color wool obviously that makes a different color bed you get different color beds it actually tells you what the necessary recipes are they're red because i haven't got them in my inventory the actual pieces so in survival this is going to be really really handy but it tells you the items that you need so if you forget what do i need for a stone pick oh i need three bits of cobblestone and a couple of sticks brilliant what do i need for some steps there we go i need that and then you've got all different ones here you've got oak wood planks i just need some oak wood quartz pillar block i need two blocks of quartz it tells you what you need assuming assuming you have got that recipe already created or you've already discovered that recipe and it's not something that you don't know that you've not already made so you don't have absolutely everything and when you uncover stuff and you find more stuff the new recipe pops up on the right hand side and says oi you got a new recipe do you fancy having a go it's brilliant this is going to actually help someone like me who always forgets how to make product x or product y constantly forget what it is how the blooming heck do i make a die this that and the other. i haven't got a clue so this is going to be really really handy and i recommend you get on with this it's really great there you go i told you it was only going to be a quick update about what's going on with minecraft 112 it's absolutely brilliant i'm going to be using a lot of these blocks in some more designs i especially like the color concrete it is absolutely superb and the colors on the wall are brilliant what a really attractive world we're going to be able to create for ourselves moving forwards if you've enjoyed this video and if you're enjoying minecraft 1.12 make sure you leave a like downstairs on that little thumbs up button make that thumbs up button blue for me it would be great to see you in my sub club as well hit that sub button and i will look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye